Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to start a new series here on the channel. It is on basic preparedness. Few things in life are as important as water. And in an emergency, you have to have good clean water to make sure your family is safe and hydrated. There are a lot of different options out there as far as ways to make filters for your family. I was looking for something relatively inexpensive, but very versatile, and I found this. This is the Sawyer all-in-one filter. We're gonna take a good look at it today, look at all the accessories it comes with, and we're gonna make a gravity filter out of a five-gallon bucket. Stay tuned, let's check this filter out. So when I was looking for a filter at home, I wanted something that was high quality, didn't have a lot of moving parts so that it wouldn't break or anything like that, something with a very long lifespan, and something that was relatively affordable. And this all-in-one filter from Sawyer definitely clicks off all those boxes. A little bit about the filter itself, when set up as a gravity filter, which is what we're gonna do today, it can filter up to 540 gallons of water a day. As far as lifespan, essentially the filter lasts forever. Sawyer gives a lifetime warranty, says as long as you keep it clean, it will continue to filter water for you indefinitely. It is rated to a 0.1 micron absolute filter. And the Sawyer webpage says it removes 99.99999% of most common bacteria. This includes salmonella, cholera, leptospiridium, and E. coli, and it removes 99.9999% of protozoa. Common protozoa include giardia and cryptosporidium. So obviously it's gonna basically take care of any bacteria and protozoa you might throw at it. So this is the kit, this is everything that it comes with. It comes with the filter itself, it comes with a syringe to back flush it, okay? This is a faucet adapter, you attach this to the faucet and then attach it to the filter and that allows you to filter water straight out of the faucet. All this stuff over here is for the gravity filter. It even comes with the appropriate size drill bit to put a hole into your five gallon bucket. It comes with the appropriate washers, rubber washers and stuff like that to make sure that your bucket is waterproof. It comes with a little plastic hook here you can hang things from. It comes with an extra little uh, water nipple here for you to be able to drink out of it. Has one already on the filter, but it comes with an extra, which is nice. I'll show you two things real quickly. This is the adapter, okay? Uh, this sits on the outside of the bucket itself, okay? So you drill the hole. There's one seal, okay, in here with the flat side of the seal up against the bucket. You'll push it through the bucket. You'll use the other seal this way, okay? I'm not gonna put it all the way in. And then you use this to screw it in and create a tight seal on the bucket itself. Then you take the filter and you just take off this piece, okay? You could also attach uh, a little piece of tubing to this directly, but it does come with this. You can attach it straight on, just like that. And you connect this to this, so water will freely flow out of the bucket, through the flow of the filter itself, and out wherever you want it to go. Now, as y'all can see, this is a food grade container, okay? In an emergency, I wouldn't freak out about it, but I do happen to have a food grade container. So you wanna pick a spot a couple of inches up. You don't wanna put it way on the bottom because you want sediment to be able to accumulate at the bottom. So we're just gonna make ourselves a hole right about here. So as I said, we've got the flat part right here. This is gonna go straight in here like that. It will give you a nice, secure, waterproof seal. Inside, we'll take, again, you want this convex area to go to the inside. We'll put it right here. Hard to see, but I'll show you guys here in a second. And then you're just gonna screw this in. And you go ahead and tighten that pretty tightly because that's gonna give you a waterproof seal. So then you're just gonna take your hose, plug it up right here, okay? And that is connected to this. So I put some water in there, haven't turned it on, but we're gonna turn it on now. There we go, 20 ounces took about a minute and a half. So that's how easy it is to make a gravity filter with the Sawyer all-in-one filter. I think it's a great filter and there are a couple of pros. First of all is the cost, $49.99 gives you this entire package. We only touched briefly on the faucet adapter, really simple. It attaches to almost all common faucets and allows you to filter water straight out of the faucet. In case there's some kind of a contamination in your city water system, you can take care of it with this filter. Another pro is that it's basically a lifetime warranty. The company used to say that they would give you a lifetime warranty if it never stopped, that they would give you a new one, and they still give you that today. They just say basically, as long as you back flush it every time you use it, you shouldn't have any problems continuing to use the filter long term. Basically, the company says you can filter unlimited water through this. Now, if you're filtering very murky water, contaminated water, uh, a lot of sediment, you definitely want to pre-filter because if you can avoid any stuff gunking up this filter, it will gunk up over time. And you need to make sure that you get as much of that out of the water before you send it through this filter 
and that will definitely extend the life and definitely make it easier. You won't have to back flush it as much. So what are some of the cons of this particular filter? Well, first of all, the flow can be slow at times, particularly when you start to get some sediment through it. The other problem is that there's no carbon-based part of this filter, so you're not gonna get rid of any pesticides or chemicals. So if you're running into those, you do need to pre-treat them with some kind of a carbon filter, just something to think about. That's a quick look at the Sawyer all-in-one filter. I think it's a great emergency option. The cost is very good. It comes with everything you need to make the actual filter, including even the drill bit you need to make the hole to make sure it's just the right size. Now, I don't keep this put together. I don't want those rubber seals to deteriorate over time. I keep it in a separate stuff sack, all the stuff together, and that stays in my bug out bag. I think keeping it airtight will help keep that rubber fresher longer. As I said, guys, this is the start of a kind of basic preparedness series. This is gonna be a long standing series, probably over many years, as I just add on to things. Water, I think, is probably the most important thing from the standpoint of survival. If you don't have water, you cannot survive, end of story. If you have any ideas or questions, things that you may want me to do a video on, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube. And if you like the channel itself and wanna watch some other videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you hit that little ding-dong bell, you'll be the first to know when I release a new video. As always, guys, I really appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Emergency preparedness is really important to me. It's a big part of our family, and we wanna make sure we're always ready for anything. I'm really comfortable with this filter, and I think it is a tremendous option for anybody's family looking for something very simple, very effective that you can have in an emergency to make sure you have good, clean water for your family. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.